her State of the State speech, the governor stressed working with Democrats to fix New Mexico's latest budget crisis. With that speech, the 60-day session is on. The two big questions, just how bad will the cuts be and how much will actually get done besides a budget? News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse. Madeline. Yeah, Jessica and Dean, it was the first thing the governor talked about, a sluggish economy that she blames on low oil and gas prices, and she stressed right away that she will not be signing off on any tax hikes. When we fall on hard times, government should not expect a taxpayer-funded bailout. In my proposal, we've identified funds in idle accounts that can be swept. In her seventh state of the state address, Governor Martinez says she believes both parties can come together to fix the budget. She wants to raid accounts for unspent money and cut spending. The governor is also calling for harsher punishments for criminals and the death penalty for people who kill children and law enforcement officers. Six years in, she still wants to hold back third graders who don't read well enough. A tough sell to Democrats and the Democrats, they've regained control of both the chambers again. And they say that the election here shows New Mexicans are not on the same page as Martinez. And so here in the House and Senate, among Democrats, the priorities will remain the same, which are jobs. The Dems say the wrong way to balance the budget is cutting state workers and teachers pay that New Mexicans should share the burden. Now, the Democrats went as far as to say that as of the state of the state, in their opinion, it's, quote, unacceptable, pointing to the unemployment and poverty rates under the governor's watch. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. While the Democrats control the House and the Senate again, they do not have enough of a majority to override the governor's veto pen.